Hello YouTube, I'm here again and I am going to do the leaf casting once more and I revamped the whole process. As you can see, I removed the leaf casting that I performed in my last video on the Wiz Comics. I soaked it, took it all off, so we're ready to go on this end. Second, Sweethearts. One thing I have to say about Sweethearts is F Sweethearts. It's garbage. I should never have used this. I, all my research, all night I was looking about leaf casting, how to do it, what methods you should use. And basically I used 70-year-old paper to fill in a 70-year-old book. This paper is filled with acid. It's old. It's brittle. It's not good paper to use for leaf casting. So... Although it may match a little bit with the color, this is the worst thing that you can use. So what did I do? Instead, I just went to the art supply store and I purchased beautiful acid-free sketch paper. It is a wonderful texture that will match the actual book itself. And this is what I'm going to use in order to make the pulp in the emerald bl a blender. And this is what I'm going to use for the leaf casting. I also revamped my table and stay tuned because there's a few more steps that I changed. And let's see if this process is going to work this time. Okay, YouTube, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make my pulp or the slurry. And I am going to use this acid-free white paper. Now, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to let it soak a little bit because last time with Sweetie Pie or whatever the name of that comic is, I didn't let it soak and let the water penetrate into the paper because I really want to try to make a finer pulp. So I honestly think that this is enough because it's not a lot that I have to fill in. So let's just let that soak for a little bit and stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, I set up my Wiz Comics cover on the Reme paper. One thing that I'm gonna do differently, this is methyl cellulose paste that I made with the methyl cellulose powder and the hot and hot water. So I'm gonna put this on to the areas that I want the paper to stick. So this will act as an adhesive and you don't put a lot on. And then when I do the leaf casting, hopefully the new paper will stick on these areas a lot better th than last time. So stay tuned, and I'm going to get this ready. Okay, YouTube, this is also another feature that I am working on that I did differently than yesterday. I am picture framing the actual comic, leaving a small gap between it, so then that the pulp can be concentrated in this area. And what I'm using is craft foam that I purchased. is very thin craft foam. So this is another different way of doing it that I researched where I will have the pulp concentrated in the area and it will create a border where I can cut it nicely. So let's put this down. We're going to close it up and let's get it into the bath for the next phase. Okay, YouTube, as you can see, we are set up with the perimeter with craft foam. I have new weight pieces of glass that are heavy holding it down in addition to the candlesticks. And here is the new pulp. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully this will be an improvement from last time. Instead of using old sweetie pie or sweetie, whatever that was, pulp 
for a 70 year old Pope, a little silly on my behalf. I hope I'm not offending anyone who likes romance, golden age comic books. I know I don't. So, here you go. So that's that. Let's let it settle down into the areas. Hopefully the methyl cellulose did what it was supposed to do. Okay, I'm gonna drain it now. Okay, it's looking pretty good. It's looking good. It looks like it filled in. As you can see. So stay tuned. Let me bring it over to the other table. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, I took it out and I am quite impressed with the results. It looks pretty good, a lot better than the previous attempt. So another feature that I'm doing is that instead of messing around with it, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right on this glass sheet I have. I have two pieces of glass, as you can see, very thick and very heavy. And then also what I'm gonna do is I am going to put a piece of the spider tissue on top of the book, on top of the actual comic cover. So this is gonna be placed on top as well, just to make it strong during the drawing process. Because what happens with this is that the spider tissue does come off easily. I'm going to put paper towels on top as well so I can absorb the liquid out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this big heavy mama of glass and I'm going to place it on top so it's flat and beautifully secure. So we'll keep it like this. I'm gonna keep it like that for a few hours, change the paper towels periodically, and I'm just gonna leave it alone. So 
I think that this method is the way to go. Stay tuned for the results. Say goodbye to sweethearts. If anyone collects this, let me know. I'll send this to them for free. And stay tuned. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. But I think this is the way and it's going to work out. So we'll see soon. Take care, YouTube.